Okay, one of the common things I'm seeing in your guys' work is that uh, there, you'll do an animation and you'll have your character change directions over one frame. And so there's a couple of things I want to point out is the importance of an, one of the 12 principles of animation, which is slow in and slow out, and uh, how that affects uh, timing and spacing. Because this is one that I'm just trying to do it in a real simple fashion because I, I see this constantly happening um, with, with some of the, your work. So what I have here, if I play the shot, uh, is just this ball going back and forth, boom, boom. And so basically what I'm having it here is it's going from screen right to screen left and then changing directions. And what I wanted to let you know is that you can go, and it's actually happening kind of quick. You can do this kind of quick movement. There's no problem with doing that. The challenge is that you have to do it in a way that is physical and pleasing to the eye. Um, when it's an organic movement, if it's a mechanical thing, it might actually switch on a dime like that. Um, but even still, it might slow out a little bit. So what I'm doing here is I have my keys on frame uh, 0, 7, and 17. And so these are my main keys. Um, the, the curve is linear. Or it's actually not linear, but um, let's see here. I'm going to add keys to the whole thing because this is more similar to what you guys would be doing when you're going to clean up your animation is you got keys all over the place uh, um, keys like these kind of keys but I still wanted to point out that frame 0 frame 7 and frame 17 are are my key poses and then everything else here is, is like in-betweens and stuff um, so that's important to note so what I'm going to do here is keep the timing the same. So when I'm done with this, I will have a different result of what happens. That'll there'll be more um, spacing will be better as it starts to cushion in on this side over here. So as it's cushioning in, the timing will remain the same: zero, seven, and seventeen. Those will stay exactly the same. Um, so the timing is the same. So this is important. Timing and spacing are different. Spacing doesn't necessarily mean you're changing the timing. The timing for me is is uh, where your keys hit. And spacing is how the space between the frames uh, between the keys. So right now it's very even. There's no um, slow in and slow out happening. So the first com concept here is timing. We're keeping the same timing and now we're going to adjust the spacing. We're going to do that using slow in and slow out. Uh, that's the common animation uh, principle that that needs to be utilized when you're switching directions so quickly. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and switch all my knots or my keys here to um, to linear because they're all on the same frame and I'm be moving these things around. So here I'm going to step through, and the first concept is slowing in, slowing out of the movement. So I'm slowing out of the movement here. And what, the way I'm going to do that is just start uh, adjusting this. So I'm moving the spacing now uh, to be closer to the key. And I want to get it pretty close because I really want it to, to slow down. And then here, when it slows out of the movement, it has to slow into the movement on the other side. And if I do that correctly, basically what I can get is I can switch directions really quickly. Um, and that, that is the basic concept right there. So now you can go ahead and start um, slowing out a little bit more. So you don't, you know, it doesn't, it's still going to hit a little bit with this short of timing. I mean, sometimes you do need to give yourself, a f you know, at least three or four frames. Uh, but that doesn't necessarily mean you have to change the timing. It's just changing the spacing of, of how the character goes and how it changes direction. So let's just kind of take a look at that. So the same exact timing is very different spacing on this change of direction. And that, that is the simple concept right there, that when you're working on your shots and your character needs to change directions, you need to slow out of the movement that it's coming into and slow into the movement of where it is going to go. Similarly, when your character takes off, it can't just pew, take off unless it's been fired out of a rocket. So you want to slow out 
of the movement, I'm sorry, slow into the movement, you know, like so. And then you can start to move really quickly. So here, just stepping back and forth. So for me, spacing is, is super important and I'm always kind of playing with it because it's the, I don't want things that are too even overall. Like I like there to be jumps in visual space. So here after it takes off, boom, it can jump forward a lot and it can jump forward again. I kind of want that to be closer to where it's going to end up on this side. So, I mean, I'm just kind of talking out loud my thought process. I hope this is helpful for you guys. But the point here is, and again, you could slow out of the movement on this side as well. Um, but you can see here now when it takes off, the audience is not going to be so taken, uh, it's not gonna be so abrupt to the audience when, it, when the character one in this motion takes off at the beginning and when it changes directions. So let's take this, you know, let's think about like if you have a character hopping down steps, if it hops onto the right foot and shifts over, it can quickly hop over to the left foot as long as you slow into the movement and out of the movement and slow into the movement on the other side. So this concept is, is super important. I'd love to see this in more of your guys' work. I hope that this makes sense for you guys and that, that you enjoy it. So with that, take care. Have an awesome week, you guys. Adios.